Hello, hello, everyone. It's been a busy afternoon, I'll tell you. I am uh, finally here. So let me uh, get my phone going here and find myself. Way I can see you guys. I'm going to use the phone this time because last time I tried the iPad, I keep trying different settings on it. And I'm thinking that I got it and then eh, I don't have it. But anyway, okay. So build a journal. I think we're on part seven. And uh, we have a good start going. I haven't done, we haven't done anything with the cover yet, but we have constructed it. And we have put signatures in and we've started decorating some of it but um and we've added pockets and some things but i guess we're just gonna uh we still gotta do the inside cover all kinds of stuff still to do but that's what we're here for and if you guys would uh do your little likes and comment below and everything um I'm going to be doing a drawing at the end when we get this all done. Um, I will go back through all the po all the things and I will see who's who's liked, who's comment, and all that stuff. And I will write you down and I will put you in the wheel to uh, receive this for free. And it'll be a giveaway. So um, what better yet to, way to get a journal, huh? And then after we finish this one, we will do some other type one. Uh, but this one here, we built completely from scratch. And we um, are using original things. Hey, Linda. Hey, Joe. And um, I'm trying to use it, trying my best to use original things. This is hard. It is pretty hard. But um, I think I got it going. And uh, like I said, we've still got some decorating to do. And I think the first thing I'm going to do, I've been, uh, we put some little page edges down and some little corner pockets. and. We've got some uh, a tuck here and some two pockets there. Does it have? Yep, and it's got a pocket in the very back. Um, we did this here where we took um, a large glassine bag. They're like the 8 by 10 guys. They're really big. Uh, so by Michelle has those in her shop. That's where I got these. But we put uh, some uh, spackling or modeling paste on it. Hey, Patricia. Hey, Lorna. And, um, hi, I was just talking to you. But, um, anyway, so we've done, we've done quite a bit. Got a little flip here to do. Um, did a little cluster. We did three little pockets. And we only have two signatures in this one. It's going to be a little, and we still have to do this one. This right here is just going to be a little pocket, and we're going to have a little button or something right here to tie that onto. And there was another thing in here that I oh I had this that I haven't done anything with and what I think I am going to do is all I'm going to do is just glue it on uh, on a page on the opposite side and just have it as a flip out you know for journaling purposes and I think we just put that right there it was there um, we'll just glue that down right there and we'll do that right now but. Um, yeah, so that's, we just, we got a little bit to do. But anyway, if you guys will like and share, uh, not share, you don't have to share it, but if you would like and uh, like it and, you know, comment, hey, hi, whatever, you know, that'll get you in for the drawing at the end of this segment. So that'll get you in and you might have a chance to win a journal. Yes, it'll be this one. <laughs> but yeah, so how... Do we join the drawing? Totally missed it. Uh, Joe, just uh, comment just like you just did and just like it and, you know, like the, like the post. And at the end of me building the journal, at the very end, when we get it completely done, then I do a drawing, okay? But um, the more chances I see that you had uh, on the, you only get like one on a, Thing, but on each of the segments, if you say something, um, then you'll be entered. And then on the next one, on the next part, if you did it, you'll be entered for two times. So we'll just, we'll, we'll get y'all going here. But anyway, okay, so look, we just did a little, a little flip out. 
I like that. And I will put something here and here. I'm okay with it hanging out. No big deal. But um, I didn't make this a pocket or anything. I just glued it straight down. We still got to do that. So we got that out of the way in a hurry, didn't we? So how long do we... So how, Okay, so yeah. So that's how what you do there, Joe. And all. But, um, yeah. I'm just kind of going through it. And this is going to be a pocket here. So we have a pocket there. Let's see what all we got here. Okay. Um, I think what I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with some paper clips. Um, I always like paper clips hanging out and on the side, you know, with all the little frillies. And we don't have really anything on top. So a paper clip would kind of look nice with some little uh, seam binding or something hanging off the top. That will kind of decorate it up. And again, you know, with it being um, an all original like type journal, a lot of decorations isn't really needed. I mean, to have your pockets and have stuff like that, that gives whoever gets the journal, it gives them room to do what they want to do. You know, if they want to put, you know, something, uh, a sticker on it or, you know, something over it or whatever. I think I'm, I'm happy with that. I don't know about you guys, but... Um, yeah, I think that that would be kind of cool. But I'll put something in there. Like, we're decorating some of it and all. But, um, okay, let's start with some um, author paper clips. I've got this one here. I'm going to take a book page. And these are going to be just easy. I seen um, a long time ago when I first started, I saw, um, oh, um, Lord Girl from the Ridge and uh, Maggie White. I seen them do these. And uh, that was actually the first live that I've ever watched was them, actually, to be honest. And um, they did these, but they, of course, are, they do a lot of the shabby chic, you know, and they've got all the little frillies and everything like that. I'm just not very good at that. Um, but they do, and theirs came out cute. They did a thing where they... Um, they did them. They just ripped up little book page pieces, and um, they they were seeing how many they could do within a certain amount of time. Is what they did. But I'm not gonna do that. You know, and I really I really enjoyed that live. But um, these are one of my favorite go to type uh, alter paper clips to do, and that's just using uh, book pages. So I really did enjoy that. Um, and ever since then, I've been ripping paper. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Joe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And all. But, um, anyway, let's get that put aside. And all you do is you take strips of paper, okay? And all you're going to do is fold it. Huh, how simple is that? You can make them any size, any width, uh, that you want to do. But you just fold it. And, of course, you can decorate them any way you want to. And we'll go this way. And, of course, some of your words are going to be upside down, but I'm okay with that, too. I'm okay if my words are upside down. Sometimes I'm upside down. <laughs> ah. But, um, okay, so you got that. You're going to take you some paper clips. I like using the big old paper clips. And I think this one here, I'm just going to rip down because it is a little big. A long, and you're just gonna put them in. I like the big part of the paper clip on the back part, and you put it in there just like that, and you glue it. You just glue her down. They're simple, and then you just decorate it. So I've got some um, washi tape stuff, and uh, that would be original. And I've got. Uh, some or not altered, but I've got some regular stamps, you know, like postage stamps. I could use that. Of course, I've got lace and seam binding and things like that. Um, so that would all be original. So there's this one right here. And now let's do this one. I think I'm going to take some of this off too. We'll take that much off. And we'll do it on this one. And then see, you glue them, you have them glued down, and then you just take them in your book after you decorate them. And you 
put them in there just like that. Okay. But um, that one I didn't leave up a little bit. And I wanted it up a little bit so I can put some seam binding. So I'm glad I looked at that. Because now I need to raise that up a little bit. Keep it raised up just a little bit. And then that way you can um, put it on, put you something on there. String or lace or whatever it is you're going to use. Okay. So get that on there. I'm going to do this to, what do we got here? Four. Just four. Let's make this one go this way on the page, on the side of the page. And you know, I think I'm going to leave it long like that because it is going on the side of the page. So I think that'll look good long. And um, I'll leave a little loop there just in case I get froggy and want to put something on it. Yep, I had a busy day. How was y'all's day? Did y'all have a good day winding down? Now, if I can sleep tonight, that'll be another thing. sleep tonight so there's this one going sideways and there's this two going this way this one won't have a little stand up you know i bet we could i bet we could make it hold on here where's my little puncher i wonder if i can punch a little hoe right in between there a little hoe there see there i did it so we made that work that way I can still stick something in there. And then this one, I think we'll just have a long one going down. And I won't cut it down either. Just leave it alone. I'm so excited about this group. I want to learn to do it all. Well, hello, Miss Patricia. I hear you guys got a big old circle going on. You and Lorna and Miss Mary. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. There's a lot of talent in this group. A lot of talent. A lot of inspiration. You guys, that you share so much. You do. You share a lot. Um, okay, let's see here. We got four there. I'm going to go ahead and move this up out of the way. Look at this book. Um, I've been using it for a long time, and I saved the little pages that have pictures on them because I never know if I'm going to use them or not. And look what just came up. I've got three pictures, three vintage pictures. See, now that right there would, oh, you know what? That right there is original. Let's use this. Let's use that somewhere. We might be able to use it on one of these little things here. Hey, yeah, yeah. But anyway, um, I think it was a Reader's Digest, but it's old. And um, look, it's got all these old pictures in it. I was excited, especially when I came across that. Well, actually, today I came across that. Yes, Lorna's good. Yes, she is. You know, and I'm glad she inspired you. I say welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, isn't that fun? And look, look there. Oh, I wonder if they'll fit on one of those. No, that's going to be too big. But I bet you I can get those on there and cut those out. But there's a lot of little little pictures in here. Anyway, oh, I can look through old books forever. Forever in a day. But let's go ahead and cut these out. Because I bet you can use them. I bet you I'm going to use them. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to cut around. Right around that white. Well, that excited me because I love using little vintage photos. And I have a lot of digitals that have uh, vintage photos and stuff. And it was killing me not to be able to use a digital because I've gotten so used to using digitals. 
So this is this is a a good wake up call. <laughs> you have forever in a day. Yep. So let's get these cut out. We'll start our paper clips. See what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Three photos. But I think that um, I always tell myself I'm going to make up a bunch of ephemera first. Even if it's just like blank ephemera. Make it up like these right here and have them ready. And that way when I go to do a journal, I have, you know, my paper clips, my envelopes, my pockets, my whatever. And all I got to do is just stick them in there. And if I make them, you know, naked like that, blank, I can, you know, I have something to use. And I never do do it. I start it and then it's like I get stuck going off doing something else and I never do it. But okay, well, there's those three little pictures there. I'm happy about that. And um, let's see, we got this, 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 and this. Let's see. One of these was going to the side. Which one was it? I think it was the long one going to the side. This one could probably go. Oh, that's a little girl. Isn't she cute? Look. Isn't she cute? <laughs> we'll put her on here. Look there, we got, I think I could do this. I think I can fit that on there. Yeah, that'll work. I'm happy. I'm happy. Now let's find out what we can do here. But we're going to have to put some things behind it, of course. We need some um, lace or cheesecloth or something to go behind them. And see what I can grab out of this little box over here. This is a little uh, scrap bin thing that I've got going. And um, I went through and I tried to organize it and put all the pieces that are laced together, all the pieces that are seam binding together, all that. And uh, put that there. We'll put that there. And let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Digging again. Eh, nah, nah. Okay, I've got some cheesecloth somewhere. And I love this tape here. I can use some of that. Oh, oh. I don't know if these would be too big. But I could do this on one. Maybe this one. Maybe not that one. Oh. Oh. Maybe put that up there. Some of these, I make these. I, I sell these in my shop. The little, uh, little snippets, measuring tapes. But I think that that would look better over here on the short one than it would on the long one. But I don't want that. I think I'm just going to take some seam binding and crinkle it down. Crinkle it down it. Let's get that out of my way. And let's crinkle some seam binding. Let's crinkle it. And put it on this side. This side right here. Yeah, yeah, they're right there. It's like a cameo, isn't it? It's like a cameo. Hey, Tanya, how are you? Been making paper lately? I've been using your paper. I have been. Okay, and what I'm doing is I'm just scrunching it up on that glue. Gotta grab it, though. Like that right there. Gotta grab it. And I just pinch it. I just pinch it. That'll give me a little border. But I do want a little tail hanging down off of it. And I want a little tail hanging off up here. 
That'll work. That'll work. Okay. And put her up here. Let's ink around her a little bit. Give her some ink. Give her some ink. And I still need my cheese cloth. I don't know where it went. Where did it go? Let you know. I got this little piece of veil. Stick that up here. Let's stick that up there. My glue is starting to ooze. Oozy. Oozy. Get that to roll down. It wants to roll up. Let's get this down. And down here at the bottom. I don't know what I put. Like that. What can I put? Do I need anything down here? Do I do I do I do I do I? I don't like all that hanging. After all. After all, I think I'm going to leave it just like that, and I'm just going to hit it with some. That Tanya's paper you're using, this right here, yes, ma'am, this is, this is Tanya's. Inside my cover, all throughout the book, is some of Tanya's papers. Guys, she makes gorgeous papers. Hit her up. And uh, this one actually was from Zoe. That I've used them on the cover, I do believe. But she did this one. I think. I think. I'm thinking. Zoe. So there's two paper makers up in here. In this group. Let's ink around her a little bit. And you know, I do need something. It needs something there. I wonder if I can stick a little flower. One of these little flowers, you think? Maybe we'll take some. Something to put on it. Maybe some little white one. Maybe the little white one. I think that's what I do. I'm going to snip this little stem right off. A little glue on the back and I think I'm just gonna stick it down like right there oh cute that's kind of cute huh. it is okay okay move on to the next one I got that one I'm gonna go ahead and ink it first this time Ink it first and get more ink on it. Okay, let's ink this. I think I'm going to put a big piece of this pink on this little girl. Let's get some good old brown around over here. I'm using walnut stain, is the color I'm using. And I think I'm going to. Okay, a little big that way I know because I, I can always trim it off. Dull scissors. Let's use a little bit of glue here, not a lot. And let's stick this down. I'm gonna not put it all the way up because I'm gonna take some seam binding and put up there, but I want to get her glued down first. Let me get her glued down first. Now let's put a little piece of seam binding. 
up there. We'll do the same thing. We're just going to crinkle it. Ooh, I could put a little bow. You know what? I'm not. I'm going to do something else. I'm going to go ahead and tie this in it like a little topper. Like I wanted to do to begin with. Hey, Cheryl. How are you tonight? So there's my little topper right there. And, um, you know, I think I've got a little tiny piece of lace that I've been seeing in this thing right here. I wonder how that would look right across the top there. I think it's going to look cute. It's going to look cute right there is where I need to cut it. And I don't even think I'm going to use that. It just didn't say do it whenever it was time. So I didn't use it. So we'll put that down. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. Now we're going to see if we can find us a button. It's, it's got to have something on her. I could put a little flyer on her, I guess. But I don't think a button. And if y'all haven't heard, one of the funnest things that I like to do is I like to take these strips of book pages, same book pages. I take those and I make little strips and I sew buttons on them. That way, all I have to do is pull it off and you've got that little backing on it. And um, yeah, it works. It does. I think I'm going to use a little piece of this. And I think I'm going to glue it down here. Right here in this corner. I'm going to glue that down. Then I'm going to go glue this button right on top of it. Aww. Aww. So we got that little girl. We got this one right here. This little woman. And now let's ink this one up. Let's ink this. I'm going to put some ink on this ribbon here. There. I did that. Okay. So we're doing the build a journal. Uh, Cheryl and I am doing some little altered paper clip things to be able to put in it real quick. And I found these little pictures in this book that I've been chopping up. So I'm excited. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we're going to go ahead and glue this one cold turkey down before we do anything else. And then we're going to see what we're going to do. Because we might. And I'm covering that hoe up. I knew I would. But that's okay. That's okay. So we got that. We don't need anything real big on her, but I want something to kind of fluff it out. So let me see what else I got up in here. I wonder if I can use some of this. Not that piece. That's blue. I don't want the blue. Maybe we can use this. This stuff gets so messy. Eyelash trim when you go to use it. It wants to go everywhere, everywhere. Okay, here's a see. Ah, just a little piece of burlap. I don't think it's going to work, though. It's going to be too big. I don't want it hanging off that much. Dead on it. Um, let's see. What shall we be able to use? You know? Maybe we can do that. Let's put some glue on the back of here. Take this little strip of leftover lace and glue it down right here. And turn this off. Okay. And let's get one of them little flowers again. I think a little flower would look cute on her too. 
and I could use our button. You think a button? Maybe a button. Let's do a button. Let's do a button. If I can find a tiny one. I've got done. I'm gonna do. And guess what? It's a dark blue, so that works out pretty good. And I'm not gonna put nothing behind it but just that little book page. I'll just stick it right there in the corner. Work out. Okay, so there's three. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. Let's get our book. <laughs> Look at that. Attack. Let's see. Where are we at here? I think right about here. Be a good spot for this one. It has the topper. Put her right there. See how she goes on there? Perfect. And it gives the page decoration. Plus, whoever gets the book can move it around to wherever they want. Because you can take these paper clips. I'm sure y'all know. but uh, And you can stick little papers under it. And it'll hold it. You know, I might even just take this and put it, hold it up and put it in a pocket because it's part of the book. And that'd be original little writing ephemera. So, hey, that worked out too. I didn't waste none of that. And let's see here. What else we got? We got this one and we still got to do one for the side. This here. Mm. Where shall we go? Let's go to the second signature on her. Why don't we put her on this? Yeah, we'll just stick her on here. So she goes there and she's decorated up that page pretty nice. Gave it something. Oh, no, let's do it over here. Let's put her on this side. We'll put her on that side. Yeah. There we go. And then we've got her still to do. So where shall we go? And oh, my little corner pocket. Put it down back down on there. And let's see. Got another little ins. There's a corner pocket we need to put something on. Uh, what if we put it back here? She put it back here. We put her back there. And we'll have, I don't know, I don't want her stuck way back here. I want her to be seen. And she'd be way down at the end of that book, huh? Let's see. Getting full. How about right up here? Right up here. she look good right there, won't she? There she is. So that gives us some decoration. And then what are we going to do on this one? What shall we do on this one? You know, uh... Good ticket. Ticket. And I'm using an original ticket. That way it's not a printed out one or a digital one. Let's stick that on here. But yeah, don't you guys forget to say something in, um, in the comments because that's how I'm going to pull. Let's see, we've got a ticket. What else can we find that would be original? Hmm. A ticket. What do we got here? I got some little stickers, some little stamps. I don't want those. Maybe a butterfly. Then again, I don't know. I don't know. What do I got here? A bird's stamps. Mm, I don't know. I don't know about this one. I don't know. I don't think I got any of these colored up, but we can do a fast way here. This is just a little tiny glassine bag. I'm just going to, I don't have it coffee stained, so I'm just going to take my walnut stain and just kind of hit it. Get it on the edge. The back is going to be glued down, so I'm not worried about the back. 
just off the moment things here, guys. I finally figured it out how to make these. Thanks for doing this live. You welcome. You welcome. You welcome. But like I was saying, you guys, um, look, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to make it a little side pocket, like here, and have a little tuck here. And then I've got a little pocket here. I can stick something, roll something up, and stick down in it. Ooh, yes, yes. Let's see. So when you say original, you are referring to anything that is not printed. Well, I'm talking about anything that is not yours that you've made. Like uh, this piece of uh, stuff is like um, a digital that if I was to purchase a digital, that wouldn't be an envelope, a newspaper, uh, printed out stuff like that is original. Um, this right here is printed, but it's my jelly print. I made that uh, off the jelly plate. So you'll see three of them in this book that I have done myself. So those are original. That's original. Um, but anything original is like that. If it's like this right here is an original uh, ledger paper. Um, original book page, envelopes, and this is original paper. It's not like it's, it's not a, uh, a digital. Telephone book. Y'all remember telephone books? <laughs> Um, my friend Carla, she found a telephone book for me and gave me that. She lives here local. Um, so that's kind of neat. But I'm going to glue this down. And I'm only going to glue it on the two sides. But did that make sense? Yeah. What original is. So that's what's hard for me right now. Because I'd love to take some of this uh, printed ephemera that I have fussy cut it. And stick on here like the butterflies and the the labels and the stuff like that. But mm, I can't do it. So I'm stuck with using the stamps and all that. But uh, I'm going to take this stamp, actually. It's a stamp stamp. And I think I'm just going to stamp it on there. And have like a, you see, have like a little stamp there. And um, maybe we'll take something and put down here at the bottom. Just something little. And if I cut this about right here, it won't ruffle that much. And that'd be good. It won't do all that ruffle. And I can just take it and glue it right here along the edge. Should use my hot glue. I'm not going to get it out. So smash that down on there. Now we need to find something skinny that I can tuck down in this right here. This little glassine bag. I wonder what I could find right here in that little glassine bag. I think I'm going to take this ticket, this original ticket. I'm going to put that little original ticket sticking out there. So we got that. And, ooh, you know what I could do? Hold on. Hold on. Let me get it. See if I can find it. Ugh. Up high. I had to get on my tiptoes. Let's just, maybe we can uh, pick up with these flyers. Mm, I wonder if they'd stick good. Or if they would crumble. I don't know if they would crumble. I don't even know if I can get in it. Good heavens. Woo. I use these a lot with my um, my wax seals. I love to use these little dried flowers in my wax seals. So, I just want a little. I don't want a lot. And I bet this one won't. Do all that uh, tearing, but I'm going to lay it down right like that. And I'm going to get me a little piece of jute, and I've seen a piece here somewhere. But here, let me get a piece of this wax thread. 
There's a little piece of wax thread in this box here. I saw it earlier. I'm going to lay it down. Lay my little flyers on it. It's an idea of what, I don't know if it's going to work. Get back in my little loop. Get back in my loop. I need more hands. I need more hands. Let's pull these down a little bit. Another stamp. Come on. That's down. Let's just tie a little bow. Just a little one. Maybe. My little short fat fingers. <laughs> ah! Okay. Maybe we'll just tie a knot. How about that? It's just going to be a knot. Maybe. Get it, you know. Probably better if I chop some of it off anyway. I don't have all of that I'm messing with. Huh. Oh my! Oh my goodness! Okay, that worked. Let's snip that off and snip that off, and let's just tuck that down in our bag. And it'll stick out right like that. How about that? That works. Hey, it smells good. It really does. But we got that. So we're going to do that. And let's find a place for it. And we'll see. If it happens to squish and all that kind of stuff, I will go back and I will put something else in that little slot later. Because it just might. I'm going to put it right here. Right here. And let's get another couple of tickets. It's just a little green one. I got these in the shop too, guys. The little the little glassing bags came from Michelle. It's sold by Michelle. She's got a lot of um, actual ephemera. I don't have much. I'm more handmade kind of deal. Seam binding, lace, hand dyed stuff, and it's mostly my shop. Just that. Let's get that in there. So we have two tickets. Two tickets. I think that's cute. And all. How much time we got? How long have we been on? 43 minutes? Let's see how that's going to last. I think it's going to crunch. wonder if it's going to squish. If it does, I will go back and make something else to stick down in there. So, I know that much. I know that much. Okay, now let's, um, we need something else here. What can we do? What can we do? So, we've got that. We've got us some little paper clips. And let's see. So I got that. And then let me see here. I think that's really all I can do with that right at this moment. What do y'all think? You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. I've got... Um, some big old flyers here. It's a Tim Holtz stamp, and I haven't used it yet. And there are big old long flyers. Big old long flyers. Maybe I could put one of those, like, going up this. Huh. Let's try her out. See how good it is. Let's see which one I want to do. I want this one down here. I want this one way down here. 
on that one. Let's do that one. Okay, put this in here. I think that, that would fit right there. Don't y'all think that would work right there? We could stamp it. Let's just stamp it. And you know, I'm just going to stamp black. I'm just going to do the black. I'm not a good stamper, so I hope this works. I hope it works. My handshake. <laughs> Uh, oh la la oh la la oh la la i like it i like it let's see if i got anything else long oblong like that that i could put a stamp on i could over here too this is a is this a pocket no this is that right here so yes i could do that I could put something on this one, but I don't want to put this one because I done used it. So let's move it aside. See if we can find another. What well, would be another pretty one on there? That one. You know, I think I'm going to go with this. And then I think I got a butterfly I can use. Mm hmm. The stamps. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I gotta find a I think it's a work. I think it's a block of work. That'll work enough, maybe. So let's get this on here. Add all ink. I'll ink on it. And let's go right here. This one's got lumps because I'm behind something. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. Hold on. Hold on. I don't know if my marker will work. But I can. And use that sharpie and draw on them little tiny lines. I think it'd be just fine. Because that was the only place that I see. And um, stickers would be original. If you want to use stickers. And I've got washi stickers somewhere. And I thought I had some little butterflies, and I do, right here. I got all these little washi stickers. Ooh, sold. Sold, you little brown butterfly. <laughs> Thanks, Linda. Thank you. If I can get this off of here, it might make me mad, and I just glue it down. With the, so how do y'all get these off of here? I'm not a big sticker person. For this reason, I never can get them, the corners to come up. Bend it. Maybe if I bend it. I got it. I got it. Just had to bend it. And let's put this little butterfly about right here. <gasps> oh, how sweet. Look. It's so cute. I like it. I like that. That'll work. I don't work. I bought these off of Timu. And I have yet to really use them um what gets me a lot is the shine that aggravates me and i don't know how to make that shine go away but it don't look that bad does it 
Excuse me for a rabbit. Kind of helped it out there. But that's cute. I like that. So we got that. And I really love these pictures. I so do. I really, really do. Um, let's see what else can I do tonight. As far as pockets and tucks, I think we got plenty. Um, I really do. That is a washi sticker right there. I really like that. Got a lot of places. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to call call it the night. Really, I am. Um, because I was kind of rushed. And um, tomorrow night, I think I come back tomorrow night. Is that what the calendar says? Let's see. I come back. Whoops, let me get all these messages off here. Let's see, Wednesday, yep, I'm back Thursday, Saturday, and yeah. So I'm back tomorrow night. So tomorrow night, we're pretty much going to wrap this joker up. Um, we're going to do this pocket. We'll decorate the rest of our little clusters that we need to do. And we'll get us some little, we'll make us some little handmade tags. And the tags, whenever I make the handmade tags, what we're going to use is these little um, flyer, you know, the little things. These right here come in my Insta Ink box is where they come. But um, they're little cardboard thingies, they're little flyer thingies. And I think that they would make good tags. So we're going to use these as tags and we're going to decorate them. And we'll stick all these tags in here. But I'm just kind of running a little bit out of time. And I want to keep it an hour or under. So... Anyway, don't forget, don't forget, go watch the other ones um, and comment on them so you can get your name in on the drawing because what better way to do this? And we'll decorate this. I've got some of my handmade appliques that I do on my embroidery machine. I'm going to have them here, and I'm just trying to think of a focal point to be able to put right here in the middle. But I will have, we will have these little applique laces going right here. So that's going to be really pretty. I just got to think of something I could put right dead in the middle. So, okay. But it has to be something original in the middle. Um, not a printed out picture. It has to be original. And I think I've got some of those um, cabinet cards. You know, of, like the kids and the, the women. I don't know if you, they're like real thick cardboard kind of like. But they're cabinet cards. And I think I might put a cabinet card right here. And uh, call it that. Uh, yeah. But anyway. Okay, guys. I'm out of here. Go back and like like and comment. And get your name in on the drawing. Because the last day that we do this journal. Will be the day we do the drawing. And you'll get the book. So, anyway. I'm scooting over here to the mouse. And I'm getting off of here, guys. Y'all have a good, blessed night. And I will see you in the morning.